Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I wanna to show you how to put together a hobo cook kit. Stay tuned. The first item that you're going to need is a lightweight aluminum cook pot, preferably one with a lid that fits fairly snug. And uh, you can kind of bend this and make this a little more of an oval to accomplish that. And then also notice that it has a screw on handle here, just a flathead screw. So we're going to remove that. All right, so we remove that screw and then we look at the handle and we see if this fits inside and yes, it does. So that's good. Now, if this handle did not fit, we would cut it down some to make sure that it would fit inside of the pan because that makes it much easier to carry. Now, this screw is difficult to get off and on without a flathead screwdriver. So what I did is I found a longer screw with the same threads and I heated up the end of the screw and pounded it flat so that it makes more of a, of a thumb screw so you can twist it on with your fingers. Now because it's long, I wanted to make sure that it would fit into the pan properly so I put two nuts together and tighten them so they don't move. So now when I go to put the handle on, I can just simply put that in like this and then by hand turn it in until it's tight. Now I've got a good handle again. So that makes it a lot easier off and on. Now what's interesting about this is this entire assembly. So the handle, the screw, and the lid, this is such a lightweight pot, it only weighs 6.8 ounces. So that's pretty lightweight. So it's not gonna take up a whole lot of, of uh, weight into your pack so you can carry it easily. All right, now let's show you what I put into it. The first thing that I'm going to pack in it is this small tin with a bit of soap. And I'm gonna put that in there, that's to wash my dishes out. The small box of Strike Anywhere matches. That's going to go beside it. The next item that we're going to put in is the hobo stove that we made in the last video. This is the hobo rocket stove and because it's sooty we're going to keep it in a plastic bag. I'm just going to wrap it up. Just a cheap shopping bag. And we're going to fit that inside just like this. The next item is our lightweight aluminum coffee cup. And that's going to fit on the bottom of the stove like this. And then we're going to take the screw and we're going to slide it inside of the cup so we don't lose it and place that down inside. Our next two items, some salt and pepper. And they slide right into the side just like this. Then we also have just a piece of a scrub pad which will slide down over here couple of coffee packets from a motel. Goes down inside and then some creamer and some sugar for the coffee which will also pack next to that. We also have some napkins which is good for cleaning up for toilet paper. It also works as a fire starter. And we'll put that in here. And last but not least, a tablespoon that I heated and bent. That way I can hang it either on the side of the pot like this. I can put it on a limb. But the real advantage to this is that it fits down inside of the cook set. So you can fit this in any way you want. But uh, it fits in there quite nicely. On top of that, we take an extra bag, keep things from rattling, and to keep compression on everything, and we install the lid, just like that. Make sure it's down and nice and firm. And then we take two rubber bands, put together, come over the top this way, stretch it out around the bottom, and then back over the top. 
there we have our hobo cookware set it's all ready to go fits nicely in the pack and it doesn't weigh a whole lot uh, this entire kit with all of its contents weighs about 1.8 pounds actually a little bit less than 1.8 pounds again another big shout out to viewer GSXR13 for the genesis of this idea and uh, he spent a lot of years on the road and uh, this is the kind of thing that he does and I modified it a little bit to fit my wants and needs but I think it's a, a great idea it's lightweight and and I just think overall for the expense involved this stuff is real cheap I think I bought the pot for $1.99 at a secondhand store and all the rest of the stuff in it is just cheap things that you can find almost anywhere and so uh, yeah probably less than ten dollars in this whole thing and you can have your really great cook kit that's lightweight durable and uh, do just about anything you need this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also make sure and check out the links in the description box below and while you're down there you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link and this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in southern Ohio and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel we'd really appreciate it and when you do subscribe make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos and we'll talk to you next time